Let's take a look at that line. For months, you've been telling us just how frustrating it can be to take a driver's test in Minnesota. Having to wait up to four months for an appointment. People sleeping in their cars for a chance at a walk-in spot. <laughs> But when CARE 11 investigates started looking into it, they found even more to the story. Lauren Lemanchek discovered a little known way some people are getting to cut the line. As the sun rises, the line outside the Arden Hills exam station already stretches down the block. I came here like 11. That's right, 11 the night before, and he's not even the first in line. These are folks who couldn't or wouldn't wait months for an appointment. Hold the car in front of you. So they line up early for a coveted walk-in spot. Came here at 1.30 a.m., spent the night. Long lines are a byproduct of an appointment system so backed up that if you tried to schedule online on the day we visited Arden Hills, you would wait until December or even January to take your road test at any of the seven metro testing stations. One lawmaker calls it an outrage. This is just unconscionable. This testing station doesn't technically yeah. even open until 8 a.m., but by 745. All right, so we're not taking any more walk-ins at this time. A supervisor tells drivers who arrived before dawn they are out of luck. People work. I mean, it's not like you can come here and sit down here every day. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This testing station has already met its daily quota for walk-ins. I'm in line for three hours already, and then I'm gonna have to come back and wait another three hours. For I the understand your that. frustration. I do. We watched all morning. See these three lines? They're for appointments, and they move fast while the others wait. This is where the marked driving school cars pulled in, past the others to take the road tests first. Why is that? Well, you're about to discover a little known system that some call unfair. Look, and then, there you go, nice job. A system Linda Awalt discovered she and countless drivers have been shut out of. Linda runs Buckle Up Driving School in Oakdale. Beautiful job. Check your blind spot. While her students wait for appointments, she started getting calls from potential customers, saying other schools could get them in quickly. They have special arrangements with the DMV at Arden Hills. Special arrangements? Special arrangements. Just look, we found this driving school advertising that they have appointments at certain testing facilities for a fee. So Linda says she went to the Arden Hills DMV to ask for the same special arrangement. He said, unfortunately, it's not open to me. That's even though the deputy director of DVS, the State Department of Vehicle Services, told her in writing the state treats all driving schools equally. He says DVS treats all driving schools equally. Is that well, true? That's obviously not true. I've lost many, many customers. I know it. The state doesn't really care. Unfair to her and her students. You know who else had never heard of these special arrangements? Representative Linda Runbeck, who's on the Transportation Committee. This is totally offline and nobody is aware of it. When we told her about the standing driving school appointments, she went looking for answers at her local driving school. And so he said, yes, you can pay another $100 um, for that to get it expedited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that seem unfair? Absolutely unfair. Absolutely unfair. CARE 11 obtained this list from the Department of Public Safety. Arden Hills, Egan, and Plymouth are the only testing stations in the entire state using these standing appointments. And 23 driving schools have arrangements at one or more of those locations. Reserve spots so coveted they can charge students more to be driven to the exam and skip the line. And why should some people, you know, get special treatment? Just because they are willing to pay more or find out about the fact that they could pay more. It's just on the face of it, really wrong, really wrong. According to DPS, about one in five appointments at Arden Hills, Plymouth and Egan are reserved for driving schools. So how did this start? Who's in charge? Why isn't it open to everyone? DPS wouldn't answer our questions on camera. But in a statement, they said Minnesota management and budget is conducting a study to determine whether standing appointments help or hinder the driving exam process. Concern was raised internally at DVS in late 2018. They reveal that they put the brakes on new standing appointments last year and have been studying the issue since November. While they study, would be drivers wait. I had to call daily <laughs> and see if they have any openings just to come take my license test. And anger goes into overdrive. It affects my livelihood. It affects my families and affects customers that really need a driver's license. 
So what is even crazier about these wait times is a lawmakers tell us it's actually illegal. State law spells out how quickly a person needs to be able to get in to take the test. It's just two weeks. We're going to be exploring that tomorrow. And Representative Runbeck says she wants DVS to come before the Transportation Committee, mm -hmm. answer some of these questions, get to the bottom of not only the delays, but this whole standing appointment mm -hmm. issue. And it's odd because the students are paying more, but we don't know that the D individual DVS stations are getting anything from that, right? Financially, it's just unknown? We don't know. Now, DVS tells me this has been going on for 15 years and it's being raised now because of the long waits. Sure. But they wouldn't tell me how it started. They wouldn't tell me who's sort of managing it or how these appointments even got to be in the first place. Sure doesn't seem like it's equal when you see that. No. All right. More Thank to come. You. Thank you, Lauren.